she's still not excited about me. He was pretty sure. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this really cool clutch of eggs, but there's a whole story behind it. Now, come on, girl. Oh, oh, oh. So this is a mainland retic. Oh, pretty cool, right? Here, let me show you what it's gonna make. Now, here's the crazy part. Whoa, she still might want me. This snake is actually, it's like lottery, okay? So I put my money in a lottery about three years ago on a clutch. Now this snake has a 50% chance of carrying some special genes. And you see this right here? This is the genes it's gonna carry, but it'll make more than likely the first ever tiger ones of these ever made on the universe. Now, the question is, how cool would that be, right? So I have a 50-50 chance that that snake will be carrying this gene along with the gene that I added to it, tiger. And now, the reason why I did that, I needed to have more genes in it anyway, because I don't want to inbreed, inbreed, inbreed. So this snake here is is literally outbred with another snake, well, another snake, another reticulated python with the tiger gene so that we can not only get the tiger gene, but we could actually get new bloodline in it. Because a lot of people just keep breeding them back and forth to brothers and sisters, and eventually you can end up with problems. So that being said, I might end up with some problems anyway. Now this girl is three years old, actually almost four, and uh, it's a mainland and people don't realize that they think that mainland have to be some giant snake because they're just so convinced they watch the internet and they see a 20 foot reticulated python whoa and they think they're all going to get 20 feet long well the fact of the matter is it's unlikely that any retic you get is going to get 20 foot long and i promise you'll never get 20 foot long by accident now it takes a lot of food the right genetics the right temperatures a lot of experience perfect conditions for maybe five years to seven years to even think about getting a 20 footer. Now, that being said, this snake was not starved to death by any stretch of the imagination. A matter of fact, it had so much nutrition that it was able to actually reproduce eggs. <laughs> so that tells you it was fed well, but yet we didn't feed it a ton in the beginning because we, we just don't do that anymore. No need for it, but we feed them more. Look at that. Look at this clutch of eggs. Wow absolutely perfect so whenever you're thinking about a reticulated python please do me a favor it doesn't have to be super dwarf to be small it just the genes can help it but the truth of the matter is it's how you treat it and feed it this little girl's not she's still gonna be nervous even though she's captive born and bred she's still not excited about me excited about me taking her eggs right I mean because she's bred deep in her mind that her eggs are what she's supposed to die for, and that's what she's thinking. Now, the good news is, in a lot of cases, snakes in the wild do die for them because they have to fight animals, and plus they have to fight the fact that they don't eat for solid three months because they have to take care of those eggs. The good news is this little girl, now that she's spent her energy laying these eggs, gets to go back in an enclosure, mind her own business, and the best part is she will be totally tame again and not care about the, anything and go back on food. So she gets the disc, she gets to reproduce the eggs and they'll actually hatch because we're gonna put them in an incubator. Now that being said, she wants to light me up. But, so, just so you know, pythons don't all get giant in captivity unless, unless you feed them a lot. You gotta really put a lot of food in them. Look at that clutch. So Tim was actually Predicting how many eggs? How did you how did you predict how many eggs are here, Tim? Back before she cycled, I, I thought oh. she had eighteen follicles. So she had eighteen follicles. She was pretty sure. He was pretty sure it was eighteen. Boy, she's still pretty 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 tough for a little tiny little tiny snake, right? I know you're probably saying tiny snake. Well, I mean, this I've seen ball pythons that weigh close to this same amount, <laughs> to be quite honest, and. Uh, Whoa, come on. Like I said, she's four years old on a breeding project, so that means we had to feed her a lot. <clears throat> now she's still, so you can see, we hopefully can get her calmed down a little bit, get her out of her box. You can see she's a little snake. So that whole idea they're all gonna get 20 feet is a joke. And I'll tell you the fact of the matter is, I'm hunting for the 25 footer that I've never seen in captivity in my life and if you guys ever have, it was probably make-believe because it was just typed out and somebody exaggerating. So we're going to go ahead and put her back in a enclosure. And we're going to count the eggs. So when the, 
Females ovulating can actually pull down her belly and you can feel bloom, 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 bloom. Now the question is, let's see how good Tim was at counting them. Now, sometimes we add, we kind of get mixed up in the beginning and lose one or gain one in the beginning. Usually you lose one. That being said, we're gonna find out. The cool part about this is in 84 days, we gotta find out if it's lottery time, super lottery time, because not only was she bred, she was bred to a 100% male, which would mean that 50% of these eggs would be will be what we want them to be, and that's that's the uh, uh, rainbow, and then half of those will be the tiger rainbows, because the tiger gene will give us 50%. So how many we got there, Tim? Did you already count them? No, I don't think it's 18. Okay, so he probably was 16, but because you when you start, you sometimes get confused. Oh, that's right. You feel a gallbladder too. I probably thought that was a problem. right. So there's a couple there's a couple things, and on the smaller snakes, it can be a little bit trickier because you fill all their parts in there at the same time, and the big snakes. They see it can actually be impossible because they actually the way they lay in there. But that being said, look how this little snake did. She absolutely smoked it. She every single egg is fertile. Uh, first year male. Uh, the the ones we showed you were actually the brother, and we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen eggs. He said he forgot the cold bladder. <laughs> So there we go, guys. Feel, right? By the way, if you don't know who Tim is, he's literally been with me through 90% of my retic breeding. And so a lot of our success is because when I'm out, able to go out and run around and make videos, he's here making sure my back's covered. And uh, so, yeah, for Tim. But anyway, awesome clutch. We'll find out if the lottery is numbers are in or not. We had one other lottery clutch that had a 50% chance. And man, we were so sure of ourselves, it was ridiculous. And you know what? Yeah, wow, wow, wow. It ended up to be nothing but another clutch that we're gonna keep babies out of to do it yet again. Because when you have new genes, you have to try to do things to try to get other genes in them. Within two or three days, we have another one that has a 50% has a chance to have babies. I mean, to have it carry the gene and so, Man, we're going to have a lot of luck, hopefully, and we're really looking forward to it. And you know what? If you don't have a dream, you can't do it. See, because some people say I wasted my time, right? But guess what happens when it hits? I get a yell, living the dream! <laughs> anyway, that's what it's all about. you got to swing hard and work hard and never give up. So, right? Yep, absolutely. There you go. And you know what? And if it doesn't turn out like it's supposed to be, we still have 100% Carrying the gene, we'll have tigers 100% het for rainbow and 50% unrelated to any rainbows in the United States. So that's rad. So it's a win-win no matter what, but we're hoping for the grand slam. Anyway, peace out. Hope you have an awesome day. Hey, it's almost Christmas. You guys better have a good Christmas.